Hello, this is Jinx. Today we're gonna check out Talaga Tujo or the Seven Wells. So we're gonna go and see the famous waterfall here. They say that there's not much water because it's a dry season, but that's okay. We'll still have a look. Located on the island of Langkawi in Malaysia, this waterfall can be reached by climbing 638 steps, which is 630 steps too many for me. That's 200 to here, That's okay. already 200? Yeah, yeah. We, we counted. So another three times. No, yeah, yeah. We just try okay? Yeah, you want to do it? It's very easy! As long as it's sun, there's no sun and it's uh, covered. As we were going up, we met some people coming down and they said it was worth it to go up to the top, so we did. <laughs> About, uh, 15 minutes, 12, 15 minutes. I was intrigued by this waterfall because legend has it that fairies used to appear here to bathe in the pools. And I also learned from the cab driver that there were spirits that roamed the waterfall and the surrounding forest. Some people who visited the falls slipped, supposedly due to the spirits pushing them. There seem to be ant tourists that's here too to see the seven wells. They're going up the staircase just like us. I thought when the stairs ended, we would have arrived at the top, but apparently not because there's still a path that leads us to the top of the waterfall. I think we're here at the top. Oh, so yeah, there's a camping site here. At the top, we were greeted by some gazebos and places for people to hang out. And although it was the dry season, there was still the calming sound of cascading water flowing down the rocks. These are one of the seven wells, I guess. Okay, let's get on this little cantilever bridge. I was truly awestruck by the beauty of the halls even though there were no bathing fairies to be seen, and the view from the top of the bridge was quite amazing. Oh, oh gosh, the last part is glass. <laughs> the water was crystal clear, and there were quite a few cute fishies in the pools. I think we may have stumbled onto a snake. Check this out. Hello, Mr. Snake. Don't, don't attack me. Oh, it's, it's turning back. Sorry. Here, go forward. Okay, bye, Mr. Snake. <laughs> Look, this is a nice example of uh, an original tree that was taken over by a parasite tree, which is the one outside here. And the original tree has had its nutrients sucked out of it and has since, I think, died. And the parasite tree is living off of it. Right there. 
<laughs> what she said actually was asbun, which is Indonesian for asal. Asal what? Huh? Asal bunyi, which means total BS. But I don't think it's total BS because this BS is rooted on actual fact and from uh, knowledge that I have gained in the Australian outback. Uh, which uh, since I've been there, I've learned that there are such things as parasitic trees. Whew. All right, we're back down from the uh, Seven Wells waterfall. Still, ever so curious about the stories I heard from the cab driver about the spirits, I decided to ask the nice coconut lady about it. Sini, benar-benar ada itu apa penunggu ah sini? Huh? Ada? Tak ada? Oh, okay, okay. Karena ada orang kata sini ada mesti minta izin dulu. Okay, okay, okay. Ada orang dia tergelincir lah masuk. Oh, okay. Orang kata mesti pergi atas uh, sebelum pukul 12. Lepas tu itu ada dia mau. <laughs> Nah, 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 okay, okay. Okay, pun dengar pun wah, confused sikit lah, you know. Confused, confused. We bumped into some other creatures that roam this place that were less ominous than spirits. This lady is really skillful in her coconut de skinning skills. Look at that. She used a huge ass chopper and no She still has all fingers. Right? And there's no finger left around here, so that's amazing. Oh, you even put a little cover. <laughs> That's amazing. We certainly had a great time here at the Seven Wells Waterfall. And hopefully we will be back one day and maybe meet a bathing fairy or two. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. If you didn't like this video, please like and subscribe. Let me know in the comments if you visited Talaga Tucho and what your experience was. Thanks for sharing this experience with me. And I'll see you in the next video.